Hey everybody! I... <laughs> hey everybody! Adam Savage here in my cave, and it's all swords lately. There's been lots and lots of swords going on. Uh, this is my assassin's blade, made from a rough forged blade that I ground with uh, brass cross guard and pommel, highly inspired and stolen from the aesthetics of Lord of the Rings. Uh, but this is the first time I have made a full set of. Is this the first time I've made a full set of furniture for a sword? No, I've made a couple of other full sets of furniture for swords, but this is without a doubt the most refined set of furniture that I have made for a sword. And that is actually the term of art for the pieces that dress a sword, the furniture. I am going to make a, uh, a scabbard for this. I can do that because it's not really sharp. Uh, but today I am, so I did the guard here and you can see the, leather overlap and I skived it to make it thin and I glued it and I'm really happy with that seam. It's very, very, it's very, uh, it's just what I wanted. It's just what I wanted out of that seam. I, I mean, sorry, I tell a lie. It could be, I could have refined the skiving a little more, but such as it is, I'm really happy with that. However, this transition up here is fugly. So I am going to make a little capstone piece of brass that sits there and dresses the top of the grip uh, and keeps all that stuff in line. That's the goal. Um, how I'm going to achieve that goal is an open question, but I think it's going to involve taking this apart and using some brass and stuff. Uh, and so let's do it. See if I can cut it and see what I can get out of it. So what I'm going to attempt to do is use this piece of aluminum to create a buck that is the shape of this that I want it to be. And then I'm going to attempt to hammer a brass piece around that buck. That's the goal. We'll see if I can get there. I've never tried anything quite like this before. Let's see. That is actually not freaking bad. I have soldered, I have made a little soldering joint, and now I'm going to uh, round these edges over just the tiniest bit.
right. Let's go cool it off. I'm now I'm very happy with this. And does it, 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 does it? It kind of matches. Ho ho ho! But it's way thicker, so let me see if I can uh, take some load off this. It's less gorgeous than I was hoping, but this really should work. So now uh, we're close to the end of the day. I'm very happy, uh, but I want to take this home and I want to stare at it. So we are going to uh, be look at where is everything. That and that there was that, and then there should be a bottle of flux somewhere, which is not super mission critical right this second, but annoying that it's not here. Ah, and we got to draw this business, this malarkey. All right, to the outsides of the lines. Let's drill some holes.
If you're wondering about my technique, I'm drilling lots of little holes and then using nippers to nip between them. It is a uh, weird technique I have not used before, but it's working pretty freaking great to be fair. Here we go. See that? There we go, there's my slot. All right, so now I wanna clean that up. That's gonna be a whole thing. Always good for a hole like this to cut it out after you've built your thing, because then you don't have to worry. See that? Then you've got some structure around it in order to align the hole, and that's really good. And that's a good thing. Let's see if this will fit. Oh no, it won't. It still needs some work. Okay, cool. Open it up a bit more. Parent mall. Oh, that's where you went. You fell. There we go. Now I found you. All right. Time for some test fitting. So I'm very happy. We're gonna we're gonna give this thing a little bit of a polish. We're gonna give it a little polish right now on the polishing wheel. And this is where you can lose it. Right where you can lose it, because you can hit on the polishing wheel and it goes patang and flies all the way across the shop. But that's not gonna happen here. So. Oh, is that a little bit of, no, I don't want that on there. All right. So, hey, hey, hey. All right. Oh, oh, I'm just, um, listen, I'm, I like, I'm ecstatic. That's, I'm really happy with how that came out, considering where we where we went to in this. I was in the middle of that. I was feeling like it was all going to be sure. Um, okay, so uh, A, 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 and A. Yep. Okay, that one goes there. And then A, A, A. Yes. And that. Look at that. Look at that. And that's what I was hoping to do. I was hoping to clean up that interface 
And I would say I did a pretty real job of doing it. Yeah. All right. Excellent. 5.30, time for going home. 5.30, time for eating. Um, thank you. I know I always go to this pose. Thank you for joining me for this one-day build. This is not the last build with this sword. No. Oh, so light it is. So light. So, so... So, so, it's an it's an assassin's blade. Um, yeah, I mean, look, there's a little, there's a little, there's some artifacts of its construction, but I don't really mind those. I'm really, yeah. That was a three, three. So you don't know this, but three one day builds happened today. Um, thanks, you guys, for joining me for this productive day, and I will see you next time.